Top five most overlooked gear that you absolutely need for your next backpacking trip, all for under $50. Let's check it out. What's up guys, my name is Thomas Copley and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at what is, in my opinion, probably the most overlooked gear that you absolutely need for your next backpacking trip. At first, I didn't think that I needed it when I started out, but now that I've had it for a little while, looking back, I wish I'd had it from the start. I have three specific pieces of gear in mind today, and if you stick to the end of the video, I'm going to show you a fourth bonus piece of gear, actually. Now, this first piece of gear I've actually mentioned before, but I haven't given it the proper attention that it deserves. It is the Thermarest Compressible Pillow. This is a size medium, and avid backpackers like ultralighters are going to give me a whole bunch of crap about it because they're gonna say that it weighs way too much, but I've told you guys before and I'll tell you again until the end of time that I will take a few more ounces if it's gonna save my sleep and save my trip. And this thing has done just that. It has saved my sleep. It feels so much better when you're sleeping than an air pillow or anything like that. It really doesn't weigh that much. The size medium weighs 10 ounces, a small is around seven, and then like a large is a little bit more. What's kind of interesting is this is made out of uh, mostly polyester and actually it's made from excess material that's left over when companies are making their sleeping pads. So this is basically recycled material. It's, it's the excess that people have for their sleeping pads. It's polyester and it's um, everybody around you is gonna be super jealous because they're gonna be on their hard rock air pillows and you're gonna be there with your actual pillow. It's super nice because it has a cinch feature. On the back here you pull the cinch and it kind of squeezes it together more to give you more of a firm top here or you can loosen it and just you know have it as, as um, loose as you want it and you can just ball it up under something. It fits great into the hoods of your sleeping bags. Absolutely, this gear right here, this Thermarest compressible air pillow is at the top of my favorite gear list for sure. The second piece of gear that I have on my list today is also one I've talked about before, but once again, just me putting the spotlight on it in a specific video should show you guys how much you absolutely need to go out right now and buy this piece of gear. It is the Tokes 650 milliliter cooking pot and it comes in this nice mesh container which allows you to actually probably stuff this pot full of other stuff in there and then you can just cram the lid on there and then you can cinch it down here and that will hold the lid on top there so you can save some space in your pack as well. Look, the moment you pick this thing up, you're gonna realize how light it is. Like you pick it up and there's just, there's nothing in my hands right now. Like I don't know how to explain this to you until you go out there and feel it for yourself, which I'm telling you to do. Anyways, no, seriously, the moment you pick it up, you don't even know how much weight's in your hands. Um, it is 2.8 ounces if you wanna know specifically, but in my opinion, it's basically zero because you don't feel it at all. Um, it costs about $38, so that's, I mean, a little expensive maybe for a cooking pot if you're looking at like Stanley prices on Amazon, but it's totally worth it. It's titanium, which means it's super uh, good at conducting heat, uh, which means that, you know, a downside is it loses heat real fast. So if you leave your oatmeal to the side or something, it's going to kind of cool off really fast. But there are koozies you can get that actually are going to insulate it. You can slide it into if you want to make sure your stuff stays warmer for longer. But it heats up super fast. Like I said, this is the 650 at about 2.8 ounces. Uh, you can get the 750 where you can put, where you can fit more stuff inside of it. Um, it's going to weigh a little bit more. But seriously, the Tokes uh, 650 milliliter titanium cooking pot is a must have. Now when you look inside of this thing, you'll actually see that there are measurement marks to let you know how many ounces uh, full things are. So if you're one of the backcountry chefs or something like that, then this is going to allow you to be able to make accurate measurements as well using this pot. You're not going to have to bring measuring cups or anything because there are ounce measurements on the side here. And then also have milliliter me measurements on the other side. Uh, something I just want to kind of let you guys know is when you're trying to look at saving weight on trail, the number one thing you can do besides spend more money and get the better gear is use multi-use stuff. So in other words, this needs to be multi-use. So you take this and only this. You don't bring three different pots, one for coffee, one for oatmeal, and one for boiling the water. You bring one pot. And this one pot is gonna be mine the whole weekend or the whole week or whatever you're going for. And I'm gonna use it to drink my coffee, rinse it out real quick, use it to eat my oatmeal, rinse it out real quick, boil the water for my dehydrated meals. Whatever it is, this does it all. So remember that, to save weight on trail, find multi-use stuff. This next piece of gear is absolutely the best find for backpackers because of its practicality, its multi-use functionality, and a bunch of other large fancy words, basically saying that it's absolutely great. It is the Flex Tail Gear Tiny Pump 2X, or something with those words in it. And it's, it's amazing. It comes in a little bag like this that holds all your stuff together for you. And it's an air pump, you know? It's gonna be, allow you to pump up your sleeping pad. And what this does, if you don't know, not only does it save you some breath after you've hiked all day, you don't want to have to puff into your bag for the next 30 minutes. Not only does it save your breath and get it done in like half the time, but 
Also, when you breathe into your bag, you're letting moisture into your bag, which then overnight cools down and it might take off of point five R value from your sleeping bag. I don't know if it's exactly that, but something like that, you know? So what this is gonna do is you're gonna take actual air from around you rather than from inside of your body and it's gonna fill the sleeping pad. So when it, the air cools down, it's not gonna take away from that R value. Now uh, in the bag, it comes with five different attachments and a cord to charge it with. Uh, you can use your own cord if you want. It uses USB-C. But it comes with five different attachments here. There's uh, four right there. So uh, where's the fifth one? Ah, there it is. Okay, so you'll probably only use this squishy one. This is the one that you'll use for your sleeping pad. But uh, if you have other stuff that you want to use this for too, there's also other attachments there. So yeah, it, it allows you to pump into your bag if you press twice. <laughs> kind of loud, but it's worth it. And what's cool is if you hold down the button right here, it's a light too, it's a light. And it has three different levels of light. And what's amazing about this is, like we said earlier, multi-use functionality. So uh, you can use this to pump up your bag, and then you can have this little D-ring here, pull it open, put it up at the top of your tent, there we go, <laughs> and use it as a light. So it's two things in one, and like I said before, that is the number one thing when trying to save weight is multi-use functionality. So it's not like you're gonna just be sacrificing a few ounces by taking this along with you, um, because you're gonna replace your maybe your black diamond uh, tent lantern with this, because you can use this to pump up your pad, and then it also works as a tent uh, lantern. The cool thing too is it's, well, Tiny Pump X, uh, so it only weighs 3.3 .3 ounces, which is insanely light for an air pump. Something also kind of cool, although probably not gonna be used on trail, is it has a magnet built, built into this side of it uh, with the D-ring. There's a magnet built in there. I don't really have anything magnetic around me right now to show you, but trust me, it's magnetic and you can stick it onto anything metal and it will actually hold in place there, so maybe that'll help you somehow in the woods. It only costs $45 on Amazon and it might be going down as time goes on, but right now it's looking right around $45 on Amazon. And so it is a totally worth it for that price. This thing's gonna be your tent lantern. It's gonna save you time when you're pumping up your bag and all of your friends are gonna be asking to use it over that weekend. Before I get into the fourth final bonus item that I think you absolutely need for your next backpacking trip, I would just ask that if you do like this video, you consider subscribing to the channel for more videos about backpacking and hiking and anything else outdoors. I'm a full-time college student who backpacks probably more than I do homework, and your support means the world to me. So yeah, please consider subscribing. All right, the number one thing that I think that you need to absolutely right now go out and get for yourself for that next backpacking trip that I didn't even realize when I started and I so wish I had it from the beginning is trekking poles. Trekking poles. And I say trekking poles very vaguely because I'm not going to say that before you go out on your next backpacking trip, you beginner, you must get those $150 black diamond trekking poles that are amazingly lightweight and feel like nothing. No, I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say is I thought myself, basically what probably a lot of you are thinking is, oh, well, I can get by without trekking poles for now. So let me just wait until I can afford the good $150 ones. Well, here's the thing. These are from Walmart. These are Ozark Trail. They are cheap. You can feel the plastic. It's probably going to break on me on the next one of my trips. They're super cheap, but they're still pretty lightweight. And here's the thing. You can get them for like $20, $30 at Walmart. And I can't stress it enough. Like, you need trekking poles for your next trip. Not because I think you're uncoordinated and can't balance with a backpack without it, but just because you don't realize how much these things will help. When you're out on trail, you don't realize how much your backpack weight is swinging you around. You have a log you have to step around. You don't realize how that weight shifts a little bit. Even if you pack it perfectly, it's going to shift just a little bit. You don't realize how much that weight shifts a little bit. And then you have to use some muscles in your legs, your calves or something to correct for that. So you don't go toppling down the mountainside. When you step down a hillside and there's a bunch of rocks and you're slipping a little bit, you know, you don't realize how much you use your quads to slow yourself down. When you're crossing a river on some rocks because you don't want to get your feet wet, you don't, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of harder with the backpack on than it is if you were just hiking without a backpack. These things are insane. It gives you basically four points of contact on the ground. And I didn't realize how much you needed them until I bought some cheap ones from Walmart and started going out. Because what's great is it allows you to be more balanced. You're gonna be less tired at the end of the day because you haven't had to correct for your swinging as much. And also something that I love doing is when you have these things, you can look up here and there. Like you don't have to be glued to the trail with your eyes so that way you don't trip and fall on your face. You can actually look up around you, which I think is kind of the point of backpacking, is enjoying nature. 
So I love these things because I can actually look up here and there to see the beautiful sights that are actually around me. So here's what I'd suggest. What I would suggest is $30 isn't gonna kill you. I would suggest going to Walmart, buying some Ozark Trail, or maybe some other place that sells cheap ones that I don't know about right now. But uh, go to Walmart, buy the Ozark Trail cheap ones for about $30, go backpacking with them for a few trips, and I promise you, you're gonna realize how much you didn't realize trekking poles help you, and then you're gonna want the better ones, and you will save eventually, and then you can go away for the four class trekking poles, which I think are around 70 something dollars, and even more lightweight and pretty good quality, and then maybe some uh, really good black diamond ones that are around $150 later. But I'm serious, just go grab some, any of them, and just try it out for a trip, and you're gonna realize how much they do actually save you. So there's my three, or I guess four, most overlooked gear for under $50, and I hope you were able to find something that you wanna now go get, and add to your gear collection, and I just hope this video was able to help you somehow, and that you enjoyed it. So we'll see you next time.